Welcome to Wine Wire. My name is Adam, and welcome to the place where you can find wines you cannot find in stores. We have a very exciting show for you guys today. Uh, in the studio with me is Ernesto Valasoc. I got it right? Yes! <laughs> uh, from Bodega Los Oceras. That's just said it. Very well. Okay, close enough, Nelson. I got it right this time. Thank you very much. Um, Ernesto has kindly come to Wine Wire. Uh, he is uh, pretty much uh, the man who is in charge of making sure that the wines that are coming into this country, into Canada, are well represented. So, without further ado, I wanted to introduce Ernesto and, uh, and the winery. We have two exciting wines coming on to Wine Wire, uh, one white and one red from grapes that, quite frankly, you may or may not have heard of. But Ernesto, uh, let's uh, start right out. So tell us a little bit about uh, the bodega. Okay, Bodega Les Ucedes is uh, within the province of Castellón, within the Valencia region in Spain. We are the largest producers within the province of Castellón. We bottle every year roughly 600,000 liters of oh, wine. So that's a significant production. Perfect. Well, without much further ado, why don't we get started on tasting the wines. I will give you the honors of introducing your wines because you will do a much better job than I could possibly do. Okay, thank you, Adam. We'll start with the white. We'll start with... Perfect. Um, this wine, which is um, um, a blend of Macabeo and Chardonnay in a 70 to 30 percent proportion. Um, if you wish. Sure. Okay. So the name of this wine is? Uh, is L'Alcalaten. L'Alcalaten is um, the name of the county within which our village, Les Uceres, is situated. Um, Macabeo, you know, being the primary grape in this wine, is one of the three grapes usually used to develop Spanish Cava. Um, the wine, uh, as you might have noticed, Adam, is, uh, has very uh, intense mineral uh, notes to it. Uh, there is a citrical approach, which is, by the way, typical of our region. Yeah, the sure. largest producers of, citru of citrus in, in, in Europe. Uh, uh, oranges, especially, uh, isn't it? Or especially yeah, oranges. Yes, absolutely. Um, and, um, as, but the Chardonnay gives it uh, gives a lot of uh, flowery, uh, fruity um, notes that are at the end um, make it much more attractive, right? You know, I, I I can definitely see the direction that you guys have gone in. This is a much more interesting nose in a straight Chardonnay or or, or a straight variety. Mm -hmm. There is an interplay here. Right. You've got that minerality from exactly. the Macabeo. You have um, you have those floral notes. And those those white peach notes from the Chardonnay, okay. but you know even on the palate, the one thing that I noticed, I'm sure I confirm this whether it was something that was done intentionally, the minerality is so pervasive, yes. and it's but it's such a beautiful mouthfeel as well from the Chardonnay. Yeah, and, that, and, and it's our point of difference, right? We don't want to make uh, I'm just another Chardonnay or just another Macabeo. Uh, the blend allows us to be different in the market with this approach. Okay. It is absolutely delicious wine. Um, this wine is coming in at a very reasonable, just over $17 a bottle. Um, it is available through special order, and we'll be talking more about that near the end of the show, but essentially this wine would be unique to our market. It comes in once uh, or twice a year. We mass an order for it, and literally you'll be the only one on your block with this wine. So if you want to show off to your friends, get a wine like this, that's the way to do it. All right, so why don't we taste the, uh, the red? Because I'm really interested to, to hear more about uh, the concept behind uh, 86 Wine Growers. Perfect. And, um, you know, it's a very interesting one. Okay, here we have it uh, for the first time in Canada. The 86 Wine Growers uh, uh, blend of Tempranillo and Cabernet Sauvignon in a 70-30 proportion. Um, this is a wine that has passed through American oak barrels that have been toasted at a medium uh, range for 12 months. Um, it is what we would call a Reserva in Spain. And um, let me allow you Perfect. to serve you the wine, Adam, and let's talk through it. So the 86 oh, wine growers, this is, it's, I don't want to say a cooperative. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's, the, the story, this is a, a homage Ooh, wow. to the 86 families that take part in the production of wines within the village and county of Les Uceres. Um, um, allowing the existence of wine produ product uh, uh, that, are, that prevail in, in the center of the region of the province of Castellón. Um, the wine, as you 
can, from a, from a nose point of view, is very intense with cherry notes, with red, ripe oh, yeah. fruits. Uh, I also sense licorice, I sense some leather even, um, of course, the oak. But you know, uh, the, the, the key to Ernesto, what amazes me with this one is, is how well integrated the nose is. I mean, all those things that you've talked about are all there, they're easily picked out, but they don't step on each other's feet. Right. They're all, you know, mixing yes. up in one big bouquet, which is amazing. And from my point of view on a personal level, I love those types of wines because they're way more interesting, you know? I'm, 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 I'm very excited to We have made this. a point that the wood should never overtake the fruit as well, so that it has to coexist. Uh, in fact, the final uh, finish uh, of the, the tasting is a, is a fruit rather than wood, and that is uh, also very important. And the making. length is huge. I'm still tasting it. Now. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, I 100% I agree in terms of, of how wood should be interplayed. And it's refreshing to hear because it's so easy for winemakers to come in and right. just hammer things they wine with wood. So that's really all you're taking those vanilla, those spicy notes. Mm -hmm. But the fruit is so beautiful in those, and to hide it underneath that wood would just be, you know, it'd be wrong. Exactly. So mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's very good. Um, this wine again is is an incredible value. It's uh, just over twenty seven dollars per bottle. Again, it is special order. Uh, and there's a reason, uh, you know, there's a, there's a real compelling reason to, to get on the bandwagon for this for this wine. It is just a delicious, well-made, long-living, and quite frankly, with the tannins as they are, I think there's a little bit of age on this. You can actually age it a little longer. It is a 2008. It's 2008, by the way, yes. But it does have, I think it does still have a lot of fruit left in it, and I think it's going to last and develop yes. in the bottle for the next so. few years. I think so, yeah. So that's a very interesting concept, especially when you're buying a case of this wine to see it develop over time. Correct. Um, it's been a pleasure. Like, I, I, I'm always excited to have winemakers in because they're very passionate about their wines uh, and they really do give the best description of how these wines play in terms of, the, of how they're made but also in how to use them. Um, you know, I highly recommend that you no, do not be, be uh, dissuaded by when you see special order on our website. These are fantastic wines. They are uh, usually made in, uh, in very small quantities or at least in quantities that are allocated to our province. They are well worth the wait, and I mean that. Ernesto, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. And is there anything last words you want to say before we... Uh... I appreciate the, the opportunity to help us promote uh, a different approach on Spanish wines. Uh, we believe that Spanish wines, even though we are one of the largest producers in the world, we are yet to be discovered. I mean, if you visit any LCBO store, mm -hmm. you'll understand why. We have a very scarce presence there. And uh, thanks to the the, the job that your, your people are doing in Canada promoting different wines, uh, we have an opportunity in the market, so thank you very much. Uh, we, we appreciate it. Remember, the wines, the listing of these wines are directly below this video right now. Click on them for more information. The agent will deliver it to your door, and he's standing in the studio right now, so this is not a threat. He will deliver it to your door. Uh, as always, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we're going to have some photo backstage photos of this uh, video she posted on the next couple days. Uh, Facebook is facebook.com slash winewire. Uh, Twitter is at winewire.ca. Thank you very much. We'll be back in a couple days with a brand new show. And Ernesto, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. All right. Talk to you soon.